Hello there. I'm uh, going to give a tour of my house today. So uh, let's get started. What we're in right now is the dining room. Yeah, the kitchen. I'm doing this because I was inspired by a couple of friends. Um, I don't normally do vlogs, never know what to say. And uh, I thought, oh, just jump up and do it. So I'm touring the house. A lot of people ask us uh, about our house. And so, well, now they're going to see it. And uh, one thing you will notice, we got the fans on. It's going to be a heat index of 102 today. So, and we don't have air conditioning. So as long as the air is moving around, it's not too bad. This is the family room, or our flop room. This is where we just kind of lounge, the TV. Um, yes, it's a fireplace. We have fires when it's uh, cooler weather. But you can see I was on the, uh, <laughs> just on Facebook talking to somebody about doing this. And this is our living room. Oh, I'll show the, uh, this is the china cabinet. Uh, yes, there's fine china in it. Uh, wine co glass collection, tea collection. My wife really enjoys uh, her teapots. And um, I, I painted a vine around the archway. Very nice. Hoping this thing uh, stays in focus here. Um, in our living room, let me get back here. All right. That um, framework actually holds candles. It's fun when you get that thing lit. I think there's 30 candles in it, or something like that. And um, conversation table. I'm gonna have to keep uh, moving the zoom because it keeps losing the focus. And I apologize for that, but I'm using my it's my Fuji digital camera. Uh, my wife's rocking chair, Lincoln Rocker. Probably about 1890, 1900. Fainting couch or settee. East Lake. I'm going to focus again. There we go. A little bit of artwork. Victoria Francis. Um, I can't remember who, who did this, but we got it at uh, Hillwood Estates. Some other uh, prints, gotten them here and there. We have a Lewis I cart right there. My wife picked up at the local antique store. Get that in focus. There you go. Lewis I cart. I think some of you probably know that one. Hopefully it's in focus. There we go. electric fireplace and it works it heats the place up very nicely smart work by Stephen Archer Maggie Horseman ah one of my one of my favorite pieces it's a uh, candle stand I was told 18th century I'll just hope and coming to our foyer where we actually have our our daughter from uh, kindergarten up through all the years of school. <laughs> uh, we have a downstairs bathroom. I'll just quickly, you know, it looks kind of dark in there, but you know what a bathroom looks like. And here's one of our kitties. It's Torty, named Toshi. It's a little tiny. Uh, Jasper's around somewhere. Not sure where he got to. But, uh, we'll go up the stairs. All right. Up the stairs. Now, our hallway's a little odd because uh, a person refinished the house. And this would have been a hallway straight to that wall in, in, the, in the distance. But uh, they expanded 
the room into the hallway like that to create a larger master bed. And they have, there's a door right there. And so the hallway actually comes this far and there's an archway that they put in where the door of this next room would have been. So they actually shrank that, that hall. And they made, uh, they refinished the third floor, which we'll see a little later. I did another vine look here. We've been here going on 20 years, so it's a work in process. Um, <laughs> as any house owner knows, and this is the secondary hallway. As I said, this would have been the room we're about to enter before. But we'll come into this room with the no light on. This is what we call the blue room. Obvious reasons. There's a nice print that I found. Or, uh, one of the local antique stores was having a, uh, a sidewalk sale. And uh, it was a buck. So I got it. Probably... I'm guessing 1910, 1915, something like that. I'm, I'm guessing. I, I don't know. I just know I liked it. And it fit perfectly with the blue room. And, uh, oh, there's Tashi again. And here is Jasper. Because anytime I open the guest room door, he assumes it's his. Isn't that right, Jasper? All right, and you know, that was another find. You'll, you'll notice there's a few antiques laying around. But, uh, yes, the dresser. Uh, there's some sheets on <laughs> sitting in it. That's my rocker. I've dated to about 1850. Has some nice hand carved roses on the back. Carvings on the, on the handles. All hand done. Our shelf with all of our hats. Mostly uh, Victorian into uh, the swing era, up to the 50s actually. Um, uh, more artwork by Stephen Archer, there. So, and we'll walk into this area. Uh, a friend did this for uh, my wife. This is all colored pencil. It was a character, based on a character my wife was uh, playing in a uh, role playing group which the artist was, was involved with also. Ah, as we enter here, there's a few more pieces of clothing on the, on the bed. I'll, well, hell, with it. I'll just leave it there. My wife will um, be a little upset about that, but because uh, she hates for people to see the house messy. But this is uh, our, our cast iron bed in here. That, yes, this is a guest room. We don't use this because eventually I will do some painting in our bedroom and the bed frame in there I will out of focus again I will um, be painting black and we did not want to paint this frame we'd rather keep it original That's the brass balls uh, it actually has uh, porcelain um, paint porcelain accents on it, which is very nice. And again, I have a thing for oil lamps. This was a, a find that I had at uh, a yard sale, which I got for, for like 20 bucks. Very unusual. It's square. More Stephen Archer artwork. You probably know we like his artwork. <laughs> artwork from my daughter younger years <laughs> and a large painting that my wife really liked and uh, we decided to put it in here eventually these walls will be painted not sure what it's going to be yet I guess I'm still waiting for an inspiration Let me get this light I, oh also in this room I uh, painted the ceiling trim using the same fine stencil it's a lot of fun. And coming out here, uh, we have a nice candle holder in the hallway. I really like. It. Yes, the, all the candle holders that you will see are used. We light candles up through the house when we feel like it. And uh, this is oh, this is our the master bedroom. <laughs> and. Uh, Kind of messy. Sorry about that. Sorry, honey. And uh, oh, our snake. 
This is Fred, our ball python. He's going on about, he's over 20. He's somewhere between 20 and 25. I'd have to sit and think about it. And there we have the nice print there. Victoria Francis back there. And um, our bed. And our master bathroom, which I painted this, uh, this spring. The bats are uh, were, were, uh, removable stickers I got on Halloween. And again, there's the, the same theme going through the house. And here we have the shelving, the mirror, pull the pull tub. <laughs> and just the regular bathroom, the walk-in shower in there. Oh, and we have a third floor. Now I would say it's a little bit messy up here, but this used to be an attic. And it's kind of my space in this area here. This is my my uh, office, which is a little cluttered right now. But uh, oh, my soda bottle collection, I have a few of them. And the room is also my sewing room, my sewing gear. But uh, yes, this is my sewing machine. Quite happy with it. It goes forward and backward in the with the stitches. I also have all the little attachments and accessories for but uh, making buttonholes. Um, I can do a biased ribbon, ruffled. This is our, our altar room. You'll see here a few items here. Um, I have that chair covered up. It needs uh, to be reupholstered a bit. So an antique barrel chair that somebody was just tossing out on the street. It didn't have a seat cushion, but uh, I just wrote it up and, and got it. But yes, this is our altar room. And book room, pretty much. My um, collection of absent bottles. And it's quite warm up here. And what they did is they, uh, when they refinished this, the rest of the attic, where it's too low to walk under, is all storage space on the side. And eventually this will be painted. Alright, well that's all on the inside. I'll make another video with our yard. See you there.